Is this Balkan's best country, or should I say most developed country? On the first place is Slovenia. Uh, we have everything. We have the sea, we have the mountains, we have lake. Welcome to Slovenia, a country home to 2.1 million people and very small by area. And I want to ask you guys, what do you know about Slovenia? That Donald Trump's wife Melania was born there? Or that Slovenia is the country with the largest number of tractors per person? Or maybe Lake Bled, one of the most beautiful places in Europe, where I went on my first out of two visits to the country. Let me tell you, there's so much more to this small Balkan country, which in June 1991 declared independence from Yugoslavia and became an independent sovereign state. Slovenia is small, but it has it all. Slovenia is beautiful, right? Yes, of course. Slovenia! <laughs> In fact, Denmark is two times bigger without Greenland. Serbia is four times bigger. The US state of Nebraska is 10 times bigger. The former Yugoslavia is 13 times as big. And United States as a whole is about 485 times bigger than Slovenia. Israel and Slovenia is almost the same size. The difference between the two countries though is that Slovenia has love in its name. Israel doesn't have love in their name. Slovenia is in fact the only country in the world that has the word love in its name. So where are you from? Ljubljana. Ljubljana is the capital of Slovenia and the city is home to around 300,000 people and Ljubljana translates as the loved one. I'm from Ljubljana. On top of the city you'll find the picturesque Ljubljana castle which is over 900 years old. The city has been named as Europe's green capital which is no surprise because more than half of the country is covered with forest making Slovenia one of the greenest countries in the world. The capital Ljubljana offers a unique blend of natural beauty, charming architecture and cultural attractions. And of course you have to try a traditional Slovene dish here. This is Trukli here in Slovenia. You have to try it out. Very sugary, very sweet. Take a look. Mm. Mouth warming. Only in Slovenia. Slovenia is full of interesting places, beautiful nature. <laughs> And it's just lovely to explore. However, you need to be a bit careful when hiking in the nature. So you have a lot of brown bears. Bears? Yeah. I actually met one. Really? As a kid, yeah. It was super dangerous. Mama bear was going with the small bears, with her babies. When she saw us, she stood on two feet, but then she went because the car came. It was super sketchy. Oh my God. But I'm still here. That's insane. <laughs> in fact, there are more than 900 brown bears living in the forest. And there are 24,000 animal species in Slovenia. Which is a lot when you think about Slovenia only covers less than 0.004% of the Earth's surface. We are talking about a king of biodiversity. Slovenia has more than 10,000 kilometers of marked hiking trails and Triglav is the highest mountain peak not only in Slovenia but also in the whole Balkan region. It measures at 2,864 meters. Not only does Slovenia have the highest mountain in Balkan, they are also probably the most developed country in the Balkan region. Girls, where are you from? Uh, from Germany. Yeah, what's your favorite country? Slovenia. Why do you like Slovenia? The weather is nice, the people are very friendly and nice yeah. all the time. It's just nice. Good. Uh, we have everything, it's really small, but there is anything like two hours away. Like we have mountains, seaside, nature, uh, it's safe and yeah, I think the people is a good um, side of it. Slovenia ranks better than its Balkan neighbors in almost all measures. Their GDP per capita is at $36,566, slightly lower than Spain and Italy, surpassing all Balkan countries, followed by Croatia and Greece. They have a very high HDI at 0.890, which is a summary measure of human development about health, knowledge and standard of living. In Slovenia, everybody helps everybody, right? That's right. Also that Gini is remarkably low. A Gini index of zero represents perfect equality, while an index of 100 implies perfect inequality. And Slovenia's Gini is at 25.6, which is the lowest in the Balkan Peninsula and the second lowest among OECD countries after Denmark. Also, it's one of the safest countries in the world. I felt that when walking around the capital Ljubljana at night, after taking a 12-hour bus ride from Sarajevo in Bosnia and arriving at 3 a.m., it's super clean, there's no homeless people. You feel very, very safe here at 3.30 in the night. I'm considering sleeping the night on a bench right now because it's so safe. Let's see if we can find something. No crime, no noise. Ljubljana, it's completely silent. Let's check how many people are here in the afternoon compared to the morning. Tourists everywhere. No worries. I felt the same way in the second biggest city in Slovenia, which is Maribor. 
I already love the city. I just arrived here. I took a shared taxi with an app you can use here in Slovenia. We were five persons, seven euros each, one and a half hour from Ljubljana to reach here. Good price. Night out in Maribor. It's raining so much right now, but it's still fun. We're in Slovenia. Good morning guys from the second biggest city here in Slovenia. I'm standing here in Maribor. There's a lot of passion for football here in the city. Therefore we have the Ultras Maribor dedicated football fans. One of the best teams in Slovenia is NK Maribor. Yeah, for sure. The best one. Even when there was a European match with NK Maribor and a Serbian team, the vibes were still pretty chill. And I felt very safe in Slovenia's two biggest cities. So here during the summer, the kids love to come and do a little bit of activities here. Wow. Okay, so just walking through one of the main streets here in the city, it's a very charming atmosphere, lots of shops. People are very friendly here in Maribor, so, so far so good. From uh, Pohoria, Slovenia, around 20 kilometers from uh, town Maribor. I'm from Maribor. See how this is where people love to come and eat in Maribor. Slovenians are an active nation. Around 60% of the population work out at least three hours per week. And you won't see a lot of obese and overweight people here. Also, Slovenia is doing really well in sports. Football and handball especially. And it's impressive when you're looking at the small size of the country. I mean, Jan Oblak, probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Maybe it helps that Slovenia has one of the 10 tallest populations on the planet. A typical male measures at around 1.80 meters. Slovenia is a very interesting and diverse country as it is the only one in Europe that combines the Alps, the Mediterranean, the Pannonian Plain and the Karst. What's the best thing about Slovenia? I think the Alps. For me it's the Alps because I, I come from the mountainside so it's obvious to the Alps. I like everything. Slovenia is the best, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> What's the best thing about Slovenia? nature everything okay i also went with my bosnian friend fatima to the coast in slovenia unlike bosnia you can also go and swim here in slovenia bosnia has a very little coastline i don't know why croatia did this nice temperature we're enjoying it where are we right now and even though there are only 46.6 kilometers of coastline in the country, there are still some magical places like Piran and Isola, which are great places to relax and take a swim. Beautiful coastline. Wow. What's the name? Isola? Isola. Isola. You have to visit. Piran is a small picturesque town located at the end of a peninsula on the Slovenian coast, built under Venetian influence. It's an exceedingly charming place to visit. And everybody loves the water here. And to spend a few days. Piran! They also have a little mermaid hand Piran. It really does look a bit like Venice, but much smaller and with far fewer visitors and without the canals. This is the colorful picturesque city here in Slovenia, Piran. Isula is perfect for a relaxing swim with very clear waters. It's an ideal place for a day by the sea. Slovenia also has the title of the country with the highest number of caves in the world. In fact, with more than 10,000. It's home to 260 waterfalls more than 500 castles and around 3,000 chapels, churches and religious monuments. This is an underrated pearl of Europe. The only capital with the Russian and the American embassy facing each other. There are so many reasons to love Slovenia. The only country with love in its name. But what makes this country truly amazing, however, are the people. They are friendly, welcoming, hospitable, down to earth. Really, they have been incredible on my two visits. And I already can't wait to come back and create more memories in this country. Slovenia! One of the most sustainable countries in the world. Would you visit Slovenia? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus and the Go. See you guys!